Hello and welcome everybody. This is Tom Morley from FOSS 365 with another video tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on the Natron compositor and specifically the shader toy. The shader toy is going to allow us to render source code on the video card's GPU. So it's going to be fast. So let's take a look at that. Let's bring up Natron. I also have my key monitor running, so I'll pull that over here. First thing we want to do is hit the tab key and bring up Shader Toy, the Shader Toy node. And it's not connected by default, I guess, so we will press the number one to connect that to the viewer. And we'll take a look at the default behavior by clicking the play button. And the default behavior just looks like it's a random bunch of colors in a crosshatch pattern, so that's pretty cool. What else can we do with the shader toy? If we double left click on it and we look in the preferences over here, it doesn't look like we can do a whole lot as far as changing what's going on with the shader toy. But if you expand it with this little triangle here, then you'll get into the image shader preferences. And you'll see some of the source code in the source code box here. And you can also load different presets from the load the preset. So if we click on that, you'll see that it opens up a world of opportunities for us to create video effects on basically anything. If we look at the effects section here, then this is where we could use maybe a glitch type effect on our existing video or sequence of images. Maybe we want to sharpen it or put some TV snow over some of our video. So the effects section is where we would select different effects that would go over our video. We also have a source category and the source category is really cool because this is where we can basically get some background source for free. So let's say I wanted to have a cloudy sky background for an intro animation. Well I select that and look at that. I'm going to press play and with no effort at all I get this quickly rendering source code that runs on my graphic card and I get a cloudy background. I mean it's pretty cool. We can select other things in the source section uh, like the seascape. I mean check this out. Look at that. This is pretty crazy here. It uh, is a fully rendered on the GPU ocean scene with just this source code over here. No raw footage whatsoever. So you could use this, use this maybe in a pirate movie or whatnot, but um, pretty cool. But what I'm looking for is more like a 1950 style black and white type effect for an opening intro to a movie. So let's see if we can find something in the source section that may kind of fill what I'm looking for. I know there's an infinite fall and it's like a cloud type texture but um, when you animate this it's almost like a never-ending tunnel type effect in black and white. And this kind of this kind of cool. This would work for a 1950 style movie intro. So let's use that and um, we want to use the text node. So let's bring up the text node. There it is right there. Now we also have to have a merge node. So let's pr press the tab key and type in the merge. Pull up the merge node. Now my friend William Young pointed out that um, I was using the merge toy node incorrectly and he gave me a, a kind of a nice tip to Always remember how the merge tool works and the B is going to be your background or the your background source. So we're going to connect the B pipe into our shader toy and the footage that we want to put over the background will always be A for always B on top, right? So A for always on top, B for background on our merge node. Thanks for that tip there, William. And um, so we have our text over our shader toy background. Let's double click on the text node and make the font size a little larger so we can see what's going on here. Of course, I don't want just the generic font that comes with the 
text node. So let's go to the font family here. And what I'm looking for is a yesterday BRK font. We're lucky in Ubuntu Studio that we have a large array of fonts to choose from. You may not have the exact font, but you can find something that will work for you. So I need to go down to the Y. And I'm looking for yesterday BRK. There we go. So that's the text that I'm looking for. And I want to type in it came from Mars. And I want to kind of have it be a stair type effect here. So I'm going to just kind of move things around. And see how that looks. Just click out of it and it will update over here. Looks like my font size is a little too large. So let's bring that down a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to move it up. Now I want a black outline on this. So I will scroll down to the stroke size and I will bring that up a little bit. I do not want it to be red, so I'm going to change that to black. That looks pretty good. Now look, we'll press play here and check it out. That looks pretty good. Now, I could call this done, but when I first created this background, I'm going like, hmm, maybe I'd like a, a um, planet type effect. So I decided that I was going to go with that. And we'll double click on the shader toy and I went into the presets and I kind of looked through all the presets and the effects and in the source and I looked at Venus and some other ones and it wasn't really the effect that I wanted for my intro. So there's another thing that you can do. You're not just stuck with these effects that you see here in the presets. You can also go to the shadertoy.com website. So you can grab some, some of the effects on the shadertoy.com website will work with the shader toy node in Natron. So I'm looking for shader toy and maybe a planet effect. So if I type that in Google, you'll see that the very first thing that pops up is our shader toy website. And if I click on that, it already has the planet tag that I put in Google and you'll see a bunch of different planet type effects pop up. And if you hover your cursor on them, you'll get a quick preview of what those different shader toy effects look like. So we're going to click on hot shower. That one that one looks pretty good. That's kind of what I want. You'll see that this effect also uses two different images. But you don't always need the images to get a pretty cool effect in the shader toy node in Natron. So sometimes you can run them without the additional images and it still works. So what we're going to do is we will highlight all of this source code here. We'll right click, we'll choose copy. We are done here, so we'll minimize that. We'll go to our shader toy node in the source code section. We're going to highlight all that source code and we're going to delete it. Now, and a lot of other programs you can right click and paste, but it doesn't seem to work here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use the control V to paste our code in there. And when I click out of it, you see that nothing changes. So you're thinking maybe it doesn't work, but this is just source code. So in order to use the source code, you have to compile it. So click the compile code and bam, there you go. We've got a really cool background for our intro. So let's go ahead and press the play button. And uh, yeah, look at that. That's great. We get a really cool kind of solar wind effect over a uh, a simulated Mars planet. So it came from Mars. That looks good. I, I think we're done here. The only thing we need to do now is render this out. So let's stop this, go to the beginning here, bring up a right node. So we'll right click and we'll pull up the right node. I think we're going to save this as just a single file, an MP4. So we'll select MP4 here. Um, we'll type in from Mars 
and we need this to be an mp4 so we will scroll down to mp4 select that uh, I want to go to a different folder so I will select my home folder and projects and I'll go into YouTube and this is going to be my shader toy YouTube tutorial so let's type in shader toy and we'll put it in our shader toy directory oh, it knocked out my from Mars name of the file so let's save that let's connect the source pipe to our merge node and we should be ready to go now we could just render this out but I want to render this in a higher quality format than the default quality so where it says advanced just click on that triangle and expand that and change the medium quality to maybe a high quality so I'm going to change that to high quality and we should be good to go I'm going to click render and it's going to start rendering and it looks like it's going to take a little while so I'm going to speed this part up and I'll come back when it's done so it looks like we're finished rendering let's go ahead and minimize Natron here let's go and open up the animation that we've completed and we want to go to projects YouTube and it's shader toy and let's take a look at it yeah oh yeah check it out man that looks awesome and that's uh, a nice intro into the shader toy node and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because the next thing we're going to take a look at is the gmic plugin so the shader toy comes with natron by default but there are other free nodes out there that can do some really cool special effects and one of them is the gmic plugin right here wait till you see some of the cool things that this can do so don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next one